Hi, this is Jim Struckwether, the publisher of Kitmaker Network and Armorama.com, and welcome to another Turning the Page. Today we've got something unique for you. This is the uh, book Black and White Technique by Jose Luis Lopez, uh, with Ammo by MIG as the publisher. Uh, it's going to cover an interesting uh, potential way for people to um, to light their models uh, in terms of a black and white undercoat. Now I've seen black and white modeling done before in the past. Uh, not adding color, just black and white, and it's it's pretty impressive, even from just a, a standpoint of doing it as a, an exercise or something. But uh, the diorama I'm thinking of was back in like 2002, uh, shortly after I started Armorama, I ran across a guy. I believe his name was, um, and I uh, don't believe he's modeling anymore, sadly. But um, but yeah, it was a very impressive Sherman diorama with the Sherman, I think, crossing a bridge in the Pacific with explosions going up around it and. Yeah, it was, it was, it was just, it was great. Um, so this is not going to just talk, well, I guess I suppose it is going to talk about how to do black and white, uh, black and white painting, but as a base coat. Um, so you can see the outline here, working with, uh, in the terms of chapters, working with light as a standout element, black and white techniques as, as answer to a need, basic ideas, applying the black and white technique, the black and white net technique applied to multicolored camouflage schemes, summary and gallery. So, uh, just looking at the book, because I had to read through some of this to kind of know what they were, where they, where they were going with this. Uh, originally, saw the book Black and White Technique, thought it was going to be about painting models in black and white, but that is not what it's about. It's about the undercoat or the basically the the lighting discipline um, that's involved. I mean, you can see here on the Sherman where they're showing these these white highlights and. Obviously, when they paint the tank, it comes through with those highlights. So light, dark kind of thing. I think this is something a lot of modelers have understood for a while, but it's difficult to always replicate that when you're when you're uh, painting, especially unless you're you know, especially if you're using, unless you're using an airbrush. But uh, but that type of thing. I did start reading this text, and I, I did pick up quite a few uh, grammatical errors in this. Pretty pretty basic stuff. Just. Um, um, stuff they could have really caught easily. Um, I mean, here, here's one right here. Yet within all trends, there still exits. One common factor they meant to write exists. Uh, and then he, um, I believe there's another one here. Uh, even here, however, we approach lighting. It's wait, no, that's not it. Um, Yeah, there might have been one up here I missed then. Anyways, the point is, it's just there are some minor text, uh, grammatical text things in the text, so just be aware of that. If you get it, I don't think it's going to probably cause any problems with getting across uh, some of the ideas. Uh, most of these books are very well uh, written in terms of, of the detail of the technique. I have a feeling because this was in the introduction se section, it probably got uh, overlooked a bit. Um, and uh, they do have photos to talk about der various different uh, bits like this particular caption up here says the attached photos clearly demonstrate this in in these two vehicles how many green and yellow tones can you see how many surfaces are exposed to direct light making base colors bright and how many surfaces obscure obscured in shadow making colors dark so uh, again just talking about light and darkness uh, some example photos here again illustrating some of these factors uh, and then you're gonna get into the actual um, uh, you know some example photos here talking about different different things uh, then applying the black and white technique is a, a chapter that actually shows uh, you know how it how it kind of works how you how you do it um, and then it shows uh, even weathering over the top of it uh, and adding uh, surface details and things like that so so it's, it's very thorough in terms of going through all the different uh, aspects uh, through the tr through to the color the final color detailing so it's you know basically a good just overall um, uh, book on, on detailing and so forth as well or the final weathering and uh, final coats but you can see there's quite a few projects in here um, then it goes into this uh, chapter five the black and white technique applied to multicolored camouflage schemes uh, but yeah so it basically you know goes through all of those and then a gallery here at the end which has more photos on it so uh, yeah, an interesting, an interesting book, uh, interesting way to do things. Certainly, maybe a little more work than some of us would be willing to put forward. But you know, you, without work, you don't get the right, sometimes the best possible uh, outcome. So I think most people are aware of that fact in life. Um, so if you're looking for something new to try as a technique, so you might want to check this book out and give it some some thought and some uh, read through and uh, maybe maybe even try some of this stuff so our thanks to ampersand, oh, ampersand. our thanks to ammo by mig
did two ampersand books recently, so that was probably my ampersand was in my head. And ammo buy, see ammo, amper, yeah, yeah. Anyways, uh, and not only that, I was looking at this silver ampersand, so that was probably in my head as well. Um, so <laughs> thanks to ammo by Meg for sending us this uh, recent release book. Um, and uh, please leave a comment or some feedback in uh, below and uh, give us a thumbs up or whatever on YouTube or on our website if you are so inclined. And we will see you next time on Turning the Page.